hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i am going to cover the interview questions asked by deloitte and the number of years of experience was three plus years and this is a technical round and deloitte is known to take bit complex technical interview they kind of go in deep and in detail they do not ask a lot of theoretical questions so whenever they ask theoretical questions they'll try to go deeper in it and try to actually get to know how much do you know about that particular topic so with that thought in this ma in our mind let's start the video okay so first question was that there uh, they will give you a list of accounts so let's say you have to create an apex class on which there will be an input parameter which is the list of account and in return you will need to return the uh, return the account count of account based on the industry okay so essentially what they're trying to say is that you will get the list of account you will have to create a map and on the map key side will be the industry name and on the value side there will be number of accounts associated with that particular industry so for that you needed to write the code that was the opening question after the introduction so interview directly started with the fundamentals of apex and then try to get to know how comfortable you are with the uh, code writing the code and understanding the question and knowing the concept or not okay so this was basically understanding how good you are in the either the map concept because you can do this either via map or you can do it via aggregate query as well so both of these are uh, fundamental things they wanted to know okay then the second question was to uh, write the trigger and this question again was fundamental so you have to write a trigger to update the user's phone number and it should be same as the contact phone number once we update uh, the contact phone number so on the contact whenever we update the contacts phone number we will have to update the same number on the user as well okay so that was the trigger scenario okay so these were two writing fundamental questions where you needed to write the code and it was expected that you will write it and uh, see the thing you need to remember while writing the code is that whenever you are going to start writing always communicate your approach to the interviewer so in that case if you are wrong or if interviewer is expecting something else from you in that question he will be able to guide you if he says or if he give you hint very good if he is not then also it is okay to convey your approach in that way you will not make a blunder of directly going to solve the question because otherwise you may go in the wrong direction and even the interviewer will not be able to help you or may not give you the guidance okay third question was a theoretical question when to choose flows over trigger okay and the next question was also similar when to choose trigger overflow so these these two questions are uh, kind of um, uh, dual questions you will get it together most of the time okay so you will have to have the scenarios the most problem uh, problematic statement here is that people say if my scenario is difficult i will go with the trigger if my scenario is easy i will go with the flow but it was an okay answer couple of uh, uh, you can say years ago but not today flows are very powerful if not today flows are very powerful you can do so many things which we could not have done couple of years ago so simple scenario versus complex scenario also is a subjective one person to person person who is pro on flow might be able to do something on flow while you might not be able to so it is a subjective thing as well so better way or better way to solve this or tell this is that if you have any practical scenario from your project then say that otherwise flow obviously does not require test classes flows are by default bulky fight okay of course there are few things which are easy to do in the flow versus which are easy to do in the triggers but try to give a real time scenarios okay uh, consider the order of execution as well before say a flow comes in before the trigger so consider that as well similarly when you choose trigger over flow there are also different different scenarios you get better handling of your code okay you need not to write two separate flows for up insert update and delete okay you can write everything in a single trigger okay and uh, when it comes to trigger you can use map 
okay if if your flow requires further bulkification you do not have option to use maps in your flows but you have that option okay you cannot create undelete uh, flows but you can do that in the trigger so try to give them practical examples not the uh, not the theoretical answer that if scenario is difficult i'll go with the with the trigger that is not acceptable nowadays see i'm not saying that your answer is wrong i'm just saying that interviewer is expecting better so if you want to extract the maximum value of out of that question then you will have to uh, be impressive in your answers okay now next question is once the record is updated you need to invoke the batch what will you choose uh, flow or trigger okay so when a record is updated you will have to invoke a batch what will you choose flow or trigger okay so i'll tell you my approach i will choose trigger okay because batch uh, whenever we have to invoke batch it re it basically requires the bulk of data and may be require more handling okay if i write trigger i'll get better control over what i want to do versus what i can do with the flow i'm not saying that flow is wrong but because this is batch epics and i want to control the bulk data i want to have a tool which gives me better control over what i want to perform so my answer will be batch uh, my answer will be trigger but if your answer is flow try to justify it with the practical example like why you will uh, uh, choose flow over trigger or why will you choose trigger over flow all these questions are basically for flow versus trigger questions okay and remember when i'm saying flow versus trigger i'm talking about record trigger flow not screen flow the screen flow um, gets comparison with the with the lwc not with the triggers okay next question is a flow is triggering an email to user but the email is not being sent and throwing an error that send email not allowed what could be the reason okay so when we are sending email alerts and emails are not uh, you know getting uh, <coughs> getting sent then there can be multiple reason the first thing could be that user uh, might not be active uh, the recipient might not be active could be email deliverability is not set to all emails uh, could be because uh, there are some problems in the flow could be because uh, email template is not valid there can be multiple reasons i think you will have to list down all the possible scenarios you have seen in your project okay there can be multiple reasons but you will have to uh, maybe because uh, the uh, by default process automation user is inactive and you are sending uh, as that user so there can be multiple reasons and uh, you have to check so many things so here you will have to list down all the things you have seen in your project and based on that he will identify okay you have seen that scenario or not okay how can we next question is how can we get the flow error emails to devops group mail id so whenever we get flow email i will try to attach a fault element and in the fault element i'll try to send an email to uh, uh, devops group sending an email could be done via the email alert could be done via the send email action or if you are using any external tools like nebula logger or something then we can use that tool as well to um, to add the element in the fault path okay <coughs> next question was what is owd what access can be provided what's the default access uh, for the internal and external user so owd you know see this is a descriptive question and it requires you to explain everything when it comes to owd you'll have to go with the record level security and you don't have to list down everything from owd sharing rule manual sharing epic sharing you can you have to describe these things okay what access can be provided okay so if it is uh, private then public uh, read public read write can be provided if it is already public read write then it cannot be extended further and default access of external and internal user depends on which object we are talking about okay so explain it properly this is a descriptive question couple of cross questions can also come from this but make sure if you know the concept you extract the maximum value out of that question okay next question is how can we give the same access by apex write sample code so i think this is a follow up question from the previous question here you'll have to explain what is the apex sharing and 
he also requested a candidate to write the sample code so if you have written epic sharing you will be able to write it and then there was a cross question related to the row cause so row cause is the reason why we are sharing a particular record and by default it is manual but you can also define a custom row cause reason and then there can be question about what is the custom row cause why we use custom row cause so custom row cause is the custom reason you define why you want to share the uh, record and even if you later on uh, change the owner that man that the that apex sharing which you have created via the custom row cause will not be deleted because salesforce uh, thinks that because you have created a custom row cause you know why you are sharing and you will be taking care of when to delete when to uh, remove the sharing so salesforce will not by default delete the uh, sharing record even if you change the owner of it okay so that is the reason of custom row cause then there was a question related to data loader while working with data loader what errors you have faced and how did you resolve it so this was again a descriptive question but it requires a greater level of explanation the kind of errors you have seen in the data loader the kind of problems you face when you upload something okay so most of the problems are because of your data sheet is not uh, you know uh, in the correct format let's say you are uploading date but the format is not correct so data sheet related uh, uh, issues are most common issue and then there can be mapping related issue there can be trigger related issue you uploaded the data but couple of record failed maybe because of validation maybe because of governance limits there can be multiple issues maybe let's say you are trying to bulk upload the data and you are hitting the governance limits so in that case you can just try to uh, you know go with the uh, less number of records per transaction so there can be multiple again this depends on person to person and what kind of scenarios he has seen if there is no uh, other way to do this so try to make sure that whatever scenarios you have done you implement uh, you tell all such scenarios okay and then the next question was what is the wrapper class write a sample code to show an account with related cases contact and opportunity wrapper class is a very important question a uh, very important topic as well not only from the interview point of view but from your development journey point of view as well here the question was straightforward and many times you will get it in a scenario where you will have to identify that if particular thing can be done via wrapper class or not okay so this is a simple wrapper class and i have done a video on wrapper classes so i will put the link in the description you can go through that video as well where we have practically created a wrapper class and have done this scenario maybe not exactly same but similar to this we have done already okay uh, then there was a question on what is the difference between SAML and SSO and uh, what is the stub API these are two complex questions to be very frank and uh, uh, SAML basically is a um, authentication mechanism by which you uh, authenticate and SSO is basically a single sign-on single sign-on can be done via multiple techniques like OR 2.0 SAML so SAML is the kind of uh, way by which we can implement SSO there were a couple of cross questions as well and I'm going to add a link here for this if you want to understand this more you can go through that and then there was a question on stub API so this is obviously an advanced question and I have seen this question for the first time stub api basically provide you a framework by which you can mock the behavior of your epic classes this is an advanced topic i am going to give you a link for the blog if you want to read this more but to be very frank even if i was giving the interview i would not have been able to explain it properly so see it happens in the interview that sometimes you will get the complex question you do not know the answer you have to understand that their expectation is not that you should know everything they want you to be able to fetch maximum value on the topic which you know and if there is something which you don't know you should be you should be okay with it like you should you can say that okay sir i i don't know that maybe this is the first time i'm hearing stub api i'll try to get to know this more they're not expecting you to know 100 percent out of it okay but all the questions like the wrapper classes like they ask you to uh, create the map in the first question the trigger those were the questions where you can excel and show your writing skill uh, core writing skill and then there were question related to owt flows over trigger trigger over flows there you can the uh, you can shine with your conceptual uh, knowledge on these topic 
ओके सो इंटरव्यूअर हैज गिवन इनफ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू टू शाइन एंड देन देर वॉज कपल ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चन ऑब्वियसली दे विल ऑलवेज बी कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू आंसर सो यू नीड नॉट टू बी वरीड अबाउट इट वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज दैट वी नीड नॉट टू टेक द नेगेटिविटी ऑफ वन क्वेश्चन ऑन टू दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क इट्स लाइक प्लेइंग क्रिकेट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्ले वन डिलीवरी इट्स ओके focus on the next ball which is coming okay so i hope this is helpful for you i am going to put all the questions in the descriptions along with the link i am talking about feel free to talk to me on linkedin if you have any doubt related to anything and um, i am also learning along with you so it's not like i know everything i also learn when i discuss these questions with my students so uh, i'm not somebody who knows everything i am also learning with you okay thank you everyone